now on WKRG News 5. Over the next few days, be sure to pay extra attention to your speed because state troopers will be watching. I'm News 5's Katarina Lukatic coming up. I'll tell you about Operation Southern Shield. A local college set to receive nearly a million and a half dollars from FEMA just ahead what those funds will be used for. And it was literally a fight to the finish for a local driver in a truck race in Ohio. Local coverage you can count on. You're watching WKRG News 5 this morning. Welcome back to News 5 this morning, 6 a.m. I'm Bill Riles. Jessica Taloni has the day off. First on 5 this morning, a quiet start to your day, but you could see more rain this afternoon. Let's check in with John. Well, there's a good chance you'll see a shower or a thunderstorm today, but not as many, and they won't last as long as they have over the past couple of days. Morning is an easy commute across the Bayway and the Causeway with gray skies above Mobile Bay. Daphne's infirmary east temperature is 77 degrees with high humidity again, and uh, dew points in the 70s mean that it will stay rather sticky and steamy throughout the day. Our radar shows very little happening. Uh, rain is almost entirely offshore. Had a little shower in the Mississippi Sound a little while ago, and that's as close as any rain has come during the pre-dawn hours. Later today, about a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, but we have warmer, drier weather on the way this weekend that we'll talk about on News 5 this morning. News 5 traffic is brought to you in part by Green and Phillips Injury Lawyers. If you need to find your way out on the roadways over the next few minutes throughout Mobile, we are looking good to start off your Thursday. Accident free right now, according to both Mobile Police and Alabama Highway Patrol. Traffic volume starting to pick up a little bit, both directions of the Bayway, but nothing out of the ordinary and no reason for an alternate route. No problems through the tunnels. And in Pensacola, we're accident free, according to both Pensacola Police and Florida Highway Patrol. I'm Kenny Fowler with your WKRG News 5 traffic. Well, as you head out this morning, you might want to make sure you're watching your speed. That's because state troopers across the southeast are participating in a speeding crackdown this week. News 5's Katarina Lucas has joined us live now with what you need to know. Good morning, Kat. Hey, good morning, Bill. That's right. As you get behind the wheel over the next few days, just make sure you're keeping an extra eye on that speedometer. Try not to speed because state troopers will be watching in what is being called Operation Southern Shield. Now, the program is targeting uh, speeders in five states, including Florida and Alabama. It runs through Sunday. Now, speed killed more than 10,000 people in the U.S. in 2016 and was a factor in more than a quarter of fatal crashes recorded in the United States. With more cars on the roads in the summertime, Authorities believe it is a good time to encourage drivers to take it easy. Slow down. Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy the family. Enjoy the talks. Enjoy the stops along the way. Make it enjoyable. Make it uh, worthwhile. Build on those memories. So when you get there, you can keep going on with the memories. Again, Operation Southern Shield does run and through Sunday. So between now and then, just expect to see more troopers on the highways and the interstates looking to stop speeders. Reporting live, Katarina Lukatic, WKRG News 5. Thanks, Kat. Caught on camera wreck in North Alabama. This is in the Fairfield community. A surveillance camera at a Sonic drive-in shows a car out of control. Cloud right through a bush hit a pole and flipped over. Now we slowed the video down here. You can take another look at it. You can see it looks like the car starts spinning once it hits the large white pole after the car stops. The driver gets out and appears to just literally shake it off. Police say the driver of the car was not injured. A crime alert this morning. A fugitive on the run in northwest Florida. 32-year-old James Jackson accused of burglaries and thefts in Bay and Walton counties. Police say he may be heading to Okaloosa County and to be on the lookout if you live near Fort Walton Beach. If you see James Jackson, contact the Walton County Sheriff's Office or Emerald Coast Crime Stoppers. You could be eligible for a reward if you help authorities track him down. A now-deleted Facebook post showed several pictures of what looked like a Mobile police officer asleep on the job. A woman 
took to pictures at the Living World Church in Westmobile, which was a polling place for Tuesday's runoff election. But she doesn't want her name used because of some of the comments left on the post. One comment came from a man who may be the officer in the photos. It said, quoting here, Funny thing is, we had multiple people on each voting site, and it was not my turn to be out of the vehicle. I was in my vehicle relaxing because the person at the adjacent driveway was on watch. We were doing 30-minute rotations. You should have stopped and asked if you were concerned. The Mobile Police Department says it's aware of the photos. We've contacted the man who made that comment on Facebook but have not heard back. Pensacola State College will be getting nearly a million and a half dollars from FEMA to help pay for damage done in flooding in the spring of 2014. FEMA has approved more than 1.4 million to reimburse Pensacola State College for repairs to buildings on the campus and to replace contents damaged during the spring 2014 severe storms and flooding. The grant amounts to 75 percent of the total cost of the repairs. The grant is funded through FEMA's Public Assistance Grant Program, which reimburses communities for costs incurred during recovery from a disaster. Nine northwestern Florida counties were designated under the presidential declaration due to the damage caused by the severe storms. To date, FEMA has approved more than $136 million for the state under the public assistance program as a result of damage from the storms. The cause of a house fire that destroyed two vintage cars is under investigation. The fire started about 3.40 yesterday afternoon. This is at a home on the Highland Woods Drive East in Mobile. Most of the damage is contained to the garage where there were two vintage Jaguars. Neighbors tell News 5 the homeowner was actually planning on moving those cars next month, but unfortunately they were both lost in the fire. No injuries reported. Investigators are still looking into how that fire started. This may be the summer of stranded boats in Orange Beach. First, a boat stuck on the jetties at Perdido Pass. Now, what some called a ghost ship washed ashore at Orange Beach. The storm apparently washed the 40-foot sailboat up on Monday. The boat's owner tells News 5 that he just stopped for a pit stop when the Orange Beach police called him. I come in and I was getting a load on supplies and I just wanted to kick back on the beach for a couple days. And I, I, I called my sister-in-law and she come and got me and I went home. And Durham says he was planning on riding the high tide out. Hopefully, it would help unstick his boat. Now, meteorologist John Nodar with your first alert storm team forecast. All right, 607. I uh, hope your sailboat doesn't get beached <laughs> today or anything else like that happen to no, you. Oh, we don't want no, that to happen to you. That. No, no. Uh, today, you probably have an easy commute out. Let's hope so. Uh, you don't even have to wait for the high tide. Right. You just head right on out, and you'll encounter, well, something like this. Let's take a look and show you a beautiful start to the morning as we look across the Mobile River from the Skywatch camera at the Gulf Coast Maritime Museum, where it is 74 degrees with calm winds and very high humidity. Uh, no surprise, summer on the Gulf Coast. You're going to feel it, though, when you walk outside. A pretty morning, though. A lot, of, uh, a lot of folks awakening to a lovely sunrise. The radar shows rain and thunderstorms mostly in the Gulf waters and nothing going on in our neighborhood. It's pretty quiet here with temperatures in the 70s across the board. And, the, uh, of course, uh, I mentioned the high dew points. So far, no fog. I'll watch for that, but I, I think you're going to be able to get from point A to point B with no troubles at all this morning. On the way home, yeah, possibility of showers and thunderstorms. And if you do get rain on the way home, it'll knock down these uh, daytime highs by quite a bit, maybe five, six or more degrees. The extended outlook is for uh, lower rain chances heading into the weekend. Now today, a little lower than uh, what we've seen over the past couple of days. Still a pretty substantial chance at 50% this afternoon. But by tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday and Monday, it's down to 30% with more sunshine, and that's going to warm our temperatures to the mid-90s this weekend. President Donald Trump fires back at critics who say he went too easy during his one-on-one -on -one with Russian President Vladimir Putin. We'll have details. And we'll hear from Alabama head coach Nick Saban as the national champions take center stage at SEC Media Days in Atlanta at 609. Traffic is brought to you by Serpents of the Anvil at 754 Government Street in Mobile and online at serpentsoftheanvil.com. Brought to you by Greer's.
No matter what the weather is, Greer's makes shopping quick and easy with Greer's Groceries to Go. You may not realize how important three letters can be. For a patient who needs type A, B, or O blood, these letters can mean life. Without more donors, hospitals may not have the blood needed to save lives. That's why the American Red Cross needs people to give blood at the Bebo's Car Wash Blood Drive, July 31st through August 2nd at several area locations. Participants will receive a Red Cross t-shirt, Blue Bell ice cream, and a chance to win a car wash while supplies last. Visit redcrossblood.org, sponsor code Bebo's, to make an appointment. When I lost my son, I lost my smile. I wasn't interested in going nowhere, leaving the house, nowhere, going to no doctors, no dentists, no nothing. One day I had a toothache and I needed to see a dentist. He said, you have a lot of damage done. We, something has to be done about this. You're gonna get your smile back. And that's what he did. He gave me my smile back. So I am greatly, greatly, forever grateful for that. You've made us a part of your lives through the happy, the sad, the celebrations, and the accomplishments. You've welcomed us into your families, and we've welcomed you into ours. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts with a promise. The important things haven't changed, and they never will. M&M Bank, 85 years and growing. Mosquitoes, one of the summer's most dreaded sounds. For grown-ups, mosquitoes can make yard work drudgery. For kids, they can take all the fun out of playing in the yard. It's time to reclaim your yard with Cook's Mosquito Patrol. Enjoy your patio or deck this summer the way it was meant to be, without wearing bug spray or feeling like you're being eaten alive. Call Cook's today for a free evaluation. Looky, looky, looky. Spawn to Manufacturers Big Sale. Big selection equals big savings on the Hydrotherapy Relaxing Spa starting at only $2,799. What about a swim spa for exercise, therapy, and fun? It's a pool and spa all in one. Big sale. Big savings. Big pools in stock. Put them in your own backyard for as little as $40 a month. Buy today and swim tomorrow during the big sale going on now at Spawn to Manufacturers Chickasaw and Gaucher. Good Morning Mattress is celebrating 15 years. Save 50% on selected models and 15% on already reduced sets. Plus, we're giving away a free mattress set by Sealy. Come celebrate our 15-year anniversary. Good Morning Mattress Center, Mobile. Another pair of satisfied emotions. Looks to me like elation and maybe some amazement. It's part of the Honda Summer Spectacular Event Experience. You could say satisfaction comes standard here, just like the Honda Accord comes standard with a luxurious roomy interior. <laughs> all at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. We see it all the time. Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Accord, 2018's North American Car of the Year. Morgan & Morgan, dial pound 529 on your cell phone. Pound law, that's all. You're watching WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on with Bill Riles, Jessica Toloni, and meteorologist John Nodar. This is WKRG News 5 this morning. 613 right now, the view down at the beach, Perdido Pass. Good morning to you. 613, President Trump says he personally blames Russian President Vladimir Putin for Russia meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The president made the remark in an exclusive interview with CBS Evening News anchor Jeff Glor. President Trump also told, told Glor he warned Putin not to interfere in future elections. Two teenagers were bitten yesterday in what appeared to be shark attacks in the waters off New York's Fire Island. The incidents happened less than five miles apart. Authorities closed the beach. What appeared to be a shark tooth was removed from the leg of one of the victims, a 13-year-old boy. A 12-year-old girl was also bitten. The State Department of Environmental Conservation will identify if the bites came from sharks. SEC Media Days continues today in Atlanta with Gus Malzahn and the Auburn Tigers. Among the teams featured yesterday, all eyes were on Nick Saban and the defending national champions as Alabama took center stage. Chris Brees reports. 
Well, it's a bad sign for everybody who has to play Alabama in the future years because Nick Saban is not going anywhere anytime soon. And so we figured we might as well bring in an expert on that. Mike Johnson, <laughs> former Alabama All-American, played for Nick Saban, won a title in 2009. You're going to be our analyst every week on College Football Saturday. We're really happy to have you. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get it kicked off. It's going to be a great season for the Alabama football team, and uh, this is kind of the unofficial start, so uh, it's been a, a, a nice way to ease into it. When Alabama wins another title, people are wondering, when is Nick Saban going to retire? He has said no many times, and his players pretty much confirmed it today, too. I think, you know, that's just, it really explains our success. And so I don't see any signs of slowing down and haven't since I came here. I mean, I don't even know how to describe his want to be the greatest ever, you know. The way that he pushes us, I think one thing is one of the greatest things that we could have as players, you know, having a guy that pushes us so much to be the best people that we can be. You played for Saban in the beginning of his time at Alabama. Now that he's 67 years old in 2018, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's tough because when Nick Saban arrived at Alabama, he had spent a couple of years in Miami, a few years at LSU. People didn't know if he was one of those guys that would be on the road a ton, you know, moving from job to job. And now when you look back at his tenure, you can't imagine it being any other way. You can't imagine Nick Saban being in any other place other than Alabama. So when I was there, I saw the drive in Nick Saban. I saw the hunger for Nick Saban to have that greatness. He's achieved so much. Uh, and it's like they said in the clip, I don't think he's slowing down anytime soon. He looks as hungry as ever. He's, he's evolved. He's changed the program. He's hired different coaches. He's brought in great recruits. I think this winning way and this winning tradition is going to continue for quite some time. Well, a public hearing on the future of Land People Stadium will be held Monday night. The University of South Alabama hopes to build a new campus on campus stadium in time for the 2020 season. And USA wants some financial help from the city and county. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson has proposed tearing down Ladd in favor of a smaller stadium with less upkeep. City Councilman LeVon Manzi will be holding a public hearing on the matter at Williamson High School this Monday night at 6 o'clock. Manzi tells News 5 that USA's president and athletic director will speak as well as Mobile Mayor. Mayor Sandy Stimson. The Mobile Bay Bears and Pensacola Blue Wahoos opened home stands yesterday that resulted in different outcomes. The Chattanooga Lookouts beat the Bay Bears 4-2, extending their losing streak to six games. The Blue Wahoos beat the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp 11-3, extending their South Division lead to three and a half games. Fairhope's Grant Enfinger in the 98 truck here battled Chase Briscoe side by side for the last two laps. Last night's Camping World Series race in Ohio. Briscoe edged out Enfinger to take the checkered flag. Enfinger, Enfinger has four top ten finishes this season and is currently fourth in the point standards. Now, meteorologist John Nodar with your first alert storm team forecast. Good morning to you. It is 617. It's a Thursday morning and your forecast headlines include high heat, fewer thunderstorms, still some, but fewer of them, and a drier pattern down the road. Here's the way it looks right now. Looking from the Alpha Sky Cam at the 65 Medical and Financial Center, we're looking north up Interstate 65 and folks are just zipping along with no trouble at all. The streets are dry. The visibility is good. Here's the Unity Fiber Camera in downtown Pensacola and things look quiet here. There's uh, Blue Wahoo Stadium there, right on the uh, right on the horizon, and the temperature is 77 degrees with really high humidity. The water uh, temperature in Pensacola Bay is 87 degrees. All right, so here's how it's been the past couple of days. You've had to have an umbrella handy, as uh, Salma Heath does here from UMS Wright, because we've had these big old raindrops along with lightning and thunder and dark clouds too. Today, we start off quietly without that, but we will end up with some thunderstorms in the afternoon hours. The bulk of the rain is offshore, and for a good number of folks, it'll stay offshore. But you'll see in the forecast here that we will get some showers and thunderstorms inland. Radar right now, though, very quiet. The umbrella forecast is a 50% chance of needing a Green and Phillips umbrella. Now, contrast that to the 70 plus percent rain chance that we have had over the past couple of days. Forecast model looks like this starting in the morning hours. I like this. It's a quiet morning. And uh, I also think we'll see a few showers by 2 p.m. In fact, I think there'll be a few more showers along the coast by 2 o'clock this afternoon. And then they'll spread inland as the day progresses. This looks about right at 6 p.m. The showers and thunderstorms may not be in exactly these spots, but that's about the right coverage. And then as you get into the evening hours, that rain starts to go away and 
By the overnight hours, it should be gone entirely. Temperatures are in the mid-70s right now. Mix in the high humidity, and it really feels sticky out there. Wait till this afternoon. It's going to be a steam bath if you don't get rain. 90-plus degrees. The heat index will be up over 100 degrees. Uh, that's because dew points are in the 70s, and they're not going to change much throughout the day. Now, the relative humidity will change relative to the temperature. So um, this will be changing. It will drop considerably, but it will still be just as sticky. Uh, right now, though, 95-plus percent humidity at most locations. Got gray skies over the Alpha Sky Cam at Perdido Pass. Uh, the rip current risk today is very low as long as you stay away from the piers and the jetties and the passes. Uh, if you're just right at the beach, low with a maybe a six-inch surf. And then you look out into the Atlantic and the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico. We keep a close eye on these things this time of year. Right now, very quiet all all over the Atlantic Basin. So our News 5 uh, free weather app is out there for you. It does a great job of keeping you up to speed on the tropics. I think it does an even better job of keeping you up to speed on our local showers and thunderstorms uh, with a good radar right on board. It alerts you to rain or lightning nearby. It does a lot of really good things, and it's free. Here's the extended outlook. Lower rain chances for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, down to 30%. With more sunshine, that means higher heat. By Saturday and Sunday, mid-90s for daytime highs. We'll see the rain chance bounce back upward Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll stay with us. Up next, something you don't see every day, a fire NATO. I'll tell you about this, 621. Dark. See Chavis and Chickas offer your Generac whole home generator. Don't miss the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Blowout Expo this weekend at the Mobile Civic Center. Browse the largest display of hot tubs and swim spas in the region. Browse over 50 hot tubs from six major brands at up to 50% off. That's this weekend at the Mobile Civic Center. Visit thehottubshow.com. It's Doug Month at Terry Thompson Chevrolet. Save 20% off MSRP on new Terry Thompson Silverado Crew Cab. Pay just $249 a month on new Equinoxes and make no payments for 90 days. At Terry Thompson Chevrolet in Daphne. The wait is over. The multi platinum award winning duo Sugarland. Back on tour for the first time in five years. Still the same 2018 tour. July 26th at Pensacola Bay Center. The undeniable distinctive sound of Sugarland with special guest Frankie Ballard and Lindsay L. Tickets are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Get ready for Sugarland. Don't wait. Don't overpay. Shop and save at Palmer's Toyota Superstore today. Toyota's Big One Sales Event has landed at your Gulf Coast Family Store. At Palmer's Toyota, get big discounts on the one Toyota you've always wanted. Get big once-a-year deals on new 2018 Tacoma Double Caps. Drive today for $154 a month. $154 a month for Tacoma Double Caps. Drive 2018 RAV4s for $184 a month. $184 a month for RAV4s. Palmer's Toyota Superstore, your Gulf Coast Family Store. There's some things that haven't changed over 70 years, and it's the service that my grandfather had started and my dad continued. Your home is a true reflection of who you are, and frankly, we think the most beautiful space that anyone should see in a day's time is when they open the door of their own home. Give them a helping hand to take the pressure off so they don't have to make every single decision on their own. We don't just want to sell you a piece of furniture. We want to make sure it's a perfect piece and that it's right for you.
There's only one dealership on the Gulf Coast where you can buy a pre-owned vehicle for just $29 down or only $99 a month. Chris Myers Used Car Megastore. Pre-owned vehicles, one owner trades, pay just $29 down. Over 400 vehicles to choose from. Payments from $99 a month. Others just $29 down or $149 a month. See more, save more. Used buyers shop Chris Myers. The Chris Myers Used Car Megastore. When breaking news happens, count on WKRG News 5, no matter when, no matter where. WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on. Well, we got a beautiful sunrise this morning at 624 from our Gulf Coast Maritime Museum camera. Very nice out there. Some extreme weather caught on camera. Take a look at this. I'll defer to the expert. John, <laughs> what are we looking at? Uh, this is a, well, what, what a lot of folks just call a fire NATO. Uh, it turned into a water spout here, but they, they operate on the same principles, water spouts and fire NATOs, and land spouts, if you've ever seen one of Wait those. Wait a minute. It's a just fire NATO air. turned into a water spout? Right. Because the air was rising quickly, this uh, fire happened to be right next to the water, and whoosh, there it goes. That's, uh, that, that's really weird, pretty impressive. Weird, wacky stuff <laughs> there. Yes, I guess. I can't believe that uh, Bob Ship isn't going to be at the uh, deep sea fishing rodeo. That's exactly right. I mean, he's like Mr. Fish. Yes, he is. The uh, 85th Alabama deep sea fishing rodeo starts. Dr. Bob will not be there at the way station this year. Ship says uh, he'll miss this year's rodeo because of a back issue, so we hope he uh, gets clear of that pretty quick. Uh, he's been judging for the past 35 years, the last 25 as head judge. Yeah, and, uh, and when we say... He wrote the book on Gulf fishing. He actually did he write did. a Excellent. book on all of the fish in the Gulf yeah. of Mexico. <laughs> And uh, and he's a great guy on top of that, so we wish Bob Ship well. All right, he's going to be talking to Randy Patrick Sunday night, WKRG Sports Overtime, about uh, about fishing, red snapper, the rodeo, all of those things. So tune in 1030 Sunday night. It's one of the most well-known homes in TV history. It's, it's a well-known home in TV history. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. That was the theme for the Brady Bunch and the Brady Bunch family home could be yours for the asking price of a mere $1.8 million. But mm. get this, John, the price tag is big because the property is huge, about 12,000 square foot. The, the house is only 2,500 square feet. And this is, the thing is, this is just the front of the house that they showed on the show. It's not mm. the actual, they, they filmed the, the show in a studio. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So this is just like the, the, the kind the, of the model. The, the, the facade. I as it see. Were but, the you know, the one thing that I was troubled by is you said uh, 1.8 million. You didn't do this. I didn't do that. Million. Right. We've got more to come this morning. Viral video that led to the arrest of several students at Davidson High School. Up next, we'll hear from the mother of the student who was hurt in that attack and what she would like to see happen next. First, we'll check in. Kenny Fowler, your News 5 traffic report on the way this morning, 627. Don't miss the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Blowout Expo this weekend only at the Mobile Civic Center. I'm John Moses. At Bay Chevrolet, we're changing the way Mobile buys vehicles. It's called bay to go We bring the dealership to you. Go online to bay to gofo Find any car, truck, or SUV and set up a test drive at your home or office. You can get the same great deals and even set up financing. No travel, no time on the lot, no sweat. It couldn't be easier. We're rolling out bay to go now in select areas. Go to bay to gofo and bring the Bay Chevrolet dealership to your door. Your kitchen is always so clean. Oh, thank you. It's challenging. Do you ever have any issues with bugs? Issues? No, that's the easy part. We use Insect. No ants? Insect takes care of it. No creepy roaches, spiders, mice? Insect takes care of everything. Big, small, inside, outside, guaranteed. They even email a report with pictures. Call them and your issues will disappear. Call today or find us online at insect.net. If you or a loved one have ever worked around asbestos, those products may have caused an undiagnosed lung injury. Exposure to asbestos from the 1950s to the 1980s has proven to cause widespread cancer and breathing problems, not only for those directly exposed, 
but also for wives and children of these workers indirectly exposed. Call Environmental Litigation Group now to set up your free asbestos screening. 1-800-749-9200. Valuable settlement monies could be yours and may not require filing of a lawsuit. Tired of buying disposable outdoor power equipment at the big box stores? Come to American Power Equipment for a full selection of quality Husqvarna products. Our professional staff is knowledgeable and will help you select the right tool for the job you have. We have a full selection of high-quality Husqvarna zero-turn mowers with Kawasaki and Kohler engines, lawn and garden tractors, walk-behind mowers, and more. Incredible deals going on now at American Power Equipment, your friendly Husqvarna dealer with stores in Mobile and Saraland. Get rid of musty odors and excess moisture with Damprid. If your house has moisture problems, Damprid fixes it. I put Damprid everywhere there's moisture. It's easy to use and it works great. Damprid moisture absorbers eliminate the excess moisture that causes musty odors and lasts for up to 60 days. The moisture in this Damprid bag means no musty odors on my clothes. It's amazing how Damprid pulls all this moisture out of the air to prevent moisture damage in my basement. Rid your house of musty odors and excess moisture. Get rid of dampness with Damprid. Clearance. Over 100 Chris Myers Jeeps during the summer clearance event. 2019 Jeep Cherokee. 9,000 total savings. Compass clearance. 7,000 total savings. Chris Myers Jeep clearance. Cherokee clearance. 9,000 total savings. Compass. 7,000 total savings. Over 100 Jeeps with clearance pricing while they last. At Chris Myers in Daphne. ChrisMyers.com. 6.30, beautiful sunrise underway here on this Thursday morning and uh, fewer rain chances this afternoon. Let's check in. Meteorologist John Nodar. All right, and you saw the lovely sunrise from Orange Beach. How about one from Dolphin Island? Looking out over Billy Goat Hole from the Alpha Sky Cam at the Sea Lab. Really nice start to the day, but it is mighty sticky out there when you walk outside into, what, 96% humidity. Yeah, you'll notice it. Anyway, this afternoon we go from sticky to steamy with some showers and thunderstorms. Now the uh, green that you're going to see pop up here in Mobile County, it's just ground clutter from the radar. The real rain is offshore for the time being. But we will get some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Not as many as we have had lately, and we're actually in for a drier and warmer weather pattern as we head into the weekend. We'll talk about that on News 5 this morning. News 5 traffic is brought to you in part by Green and Phillips Injury Lawyers. Mobile Police telling us that the traffic lights right now are on the blink there at Moffett Road, the East I-65 Service Road North, so treat that as a four-way stop. It might see some delays as a result. We've got a broken-down vehicle there on Dolphin Island Parkway at Marina Drive South. It's causing some delays until they can get that moved. No accidents right now, according to Mobile Police or Alabama Highway Patrol. Looks like a smooth commute on the Bayway and Causeway so far on your Thursday, and we're problem-free in Pensacola. I'm Kenny Fowler with your WKRG News 5 Traffic. Well, charges could soon be filed against two Davidson High School football coaches after a locker room beating left one player with a broken arm. The family of the former player is planning on filing charges against the school employees. News 5's Katarina Lukatic is live in our studio now with those details. Good morning, Kat. Hey, good morning, Bill. Ronnie Kim Jr. says the beatdown should have never happened to her son while coaches were nearby, and she wants those coaches to be held accountable. The Kims went to Mobile Police Precincts Wednesday morning to start the process of filing criminal charges. Rodney was the subject of a viral video showing what is described as a hazing incident inside of the Davidson locker room. At least 18 members have already been charged in the case, but no school employees have, employees have faced any sort of disciplinary action. That's according to Mary Kim. The family has filed a $12 million lawsuit against the Mobile County Public School System, and they want the head coach and an assistant to face charges, but they have not yet filed those charges. We were told we were going to sign a warrant today against Fred Riley. Did you? It's in the process. It's still in the process of us signing the warrant against Fred Riley and Coach Jay Pope. A member of Mobile's chapter of the NAACP was also with the Kims at the police precinct. As for when a warrant may be signed against Coach Riley, Mary Kim says that, that could happen in the next few days. In the studio, Katarina Lukatich, WKRG News 5.
Thanks, Scott. In education news this morning, Birmingham City Schools is doing away with its mandatory uniform policy that frees up the district's 24,000 students to wear what they want. When school starts in two weeks, the school system made the decision yesterday saying it gives time for parents to take advantage of the tax-free back-to-school holiday, which begins tomorrow. The Birmingham City School District had required uniforms since 1996. In northwest Florida, a woman stung by a stingray. This happened at Devar Beach on Tuesday. The 18-year-old woman was stung on her foot and taken to the hospital for treatment. That's one of my biggest fears. So typically, if I don't go in past my knees, uh, my husband will go swimming. But <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit more precautious than that. Lifeguards are sharing some tips to keep people safe in the water. Alex Johnson says they get about one to two reports of stingray stings each year. He says there's something you can do to watch out for the stingrays. Stingrays are bottom dwellers. They, they bury themselves in the sand uh, down on the bottom. Um, and what happens is if somebody steps on them all of a sudden, that's when they tend to get stung. And Johnson says if you are stung, first stop the bleeding and apply hot water to the affected area. He says that will immediately take the pain away, but then you need to go to the hospital. Now, meteorologist John Nodar with your first alert storm team forecast. Good morning, Dean. Looking out from our tower on Broadcast Drive over the treetops of Midtown and a little hazy on the horizon, but certainly nothing that's going to affect your travel this morning. Visibility is seven or eight miles here. And the temperature is 75 degrees with calm winds and very high humidity. 96%. Yeah, it's summer on the Gulf Coast, all right. The radar shows there's rain offshore. And as far as onshore, that little bit of green over Mobile County is ground clutter, not actual rain. Uh, we will wait until this afternoon for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures in the 70s to open things up will warm into the 90s before the day is done. Heat index could be up around the 100 degree mark unless you get some rain. Then it will knock down the temperature and the heat index a bit. Otherwise, you're looking at upper 80s to low 90s by about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Let's jump into the extended outlook because we do have some changes in store over the past couple of days, really rainy. I mean, every day some sort of torrential downpour somewhere. Now for today, a 50% chance of rain is still a substantial rain chance, but it's not nearly as high as it's been so far this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then we get into Friday and the weekend, you're looking at a 30% chance of scattered mainly afternoon showers and thunderstorms quite a bit more sunshine and that is going to take our temperatures and just about the time Bill Riles is cutting his yard on Saturday 94 degrees. You know it's a cruel circle we've got going on here because all week long it's rain and rain and rain making the grass grow and grow and grow and when the rain stops you got to go cut the grass in the wow. heat. And the heat index this weekend? One billion degrees. <laughs> in the shade. All right. Work is underway on improvements to Mobile's downtown airport. A little later, find out how these changes could affect the future of Batesfield and West Mobile. And just ahead, why authorities are looking for this man. We'll tell you about that. 636. Traffic is brought to you by Spring Hill Toyota at 3062 Government Boulevard in Mobile and at springhilltoyota.com. This segment is brought to you by NSEC Pest and Lawn. Good Morning Mattress is celebrating 15 years. Save 50% on selected models and 15% on already reduced sets. Plus, we're giving away a free mattress set by Sealy. Come celebrate our 15-year anniversary. Good Morning Mattress Center, Mobile. Remember your first bike? No, your first real bike. So can you imagine the feeling you'll get from your first real truck? The GMC Sierra. Step up to GMC with 10% below MSRP on 2018 Sierra HD Crew Cab models when you finance through GM Financial or get nearly 8,500 cash back on this specially equipped SLT Crew Cab model. 
Really, Carol? A headband? Bowling is my game, girls. Hey, Diane, your son Philip is coming up with some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, like the ESA to protect our kids at school, boosting teacher salaries. Medicaid for nearly a million more Floridians. Want to know the best part? He's going to pay for it without any new taxes. Philip was always a smart boy. He had a good teacher. <laughs> Philip Levine for governor. Tired of unwanted body fat? Sometimes diet and exercise just aren't enough. Now, there's Cool Sculpting, an FDA cleared non surgical procedure that uses controlled cooling to freeze away fat cells. With Cool Sculpting, you can target the abdomen, thighs, upper arms, love handles, double chin, and more. Noticeable and long-lasting results with no needles, no surgery, and little to no downtime. Call now and receive $25 off your first treatment. 344-7474. The Gulf Coast's newest casino is now open. Come in today and experience the smoke-free beach casino with incredible views, more slots and table games, and great new places for dining and drinking. Now you can enjoy our great promotions at both casinos. So join us Saturday, and you could win big in our Fortune and Glory slot tournaments featuring two $15,000 tournaments. More for you only at Island View Casino Resort Gulfport. If you were facing too many bills, would you call attorney Stephen L. Plimjack? Absolutely. The creditors have lawyers on their side. I need a lawyer on mine. Oh, for sure. If I needed to protect my car home, I want all the help I can get. Definitely. Make one call and let him handle the harassing creditors. It's a clear decision. I'd get the experience of Stephen L. Klimjak working for me. If you're facing overwhelming debt, call attorney Stephen L. Klimjak, 694-0600. It's the big one sales event at Eastern Shore Toyota. Ram 4s and Highlanders. Save up to $4,400. Or get financing as low as 0%. All backed by our lifetime warranty and more. It's the big one at Eastern Shore Toyota. At USA Children's and Women's Hospital, we help people lead longer, better lives. You're watching WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on with Bill Riles, Jessica Toloni, and meteorologist John Nodar. This is WKRG News 5 this morning. All right, welcome back. 640 right now, 20 minutes ahead of 7 o'clock. Some improvements on the way for the Mobile Downtown Airport. The FAA has announced a $7 million grant to help pay for airport improvements. Brooklyn's second runway, the 1836, is being rehabilitated. And the longest runway, the 1432, will also see some improvements. 1432 is the runway Airbus uses for their operations. Once the work is done, improvements to Brooklyn will go hand in hand with the potential plans to move Mobile Regional Airport out of West Mobile into the Brooklyn Aeroplex. A News 5 update this morning. One of the suspects charged in the Trinity Gardens parade shooting that happened earlier this year has been denied youthful offender status. Prosecutors argued 19-year-old Isaiah Kelly's actions with gang activity have escalated over the years and he should be treated and tried as an adult. A judge agreed. He's accused in the chaos of the Trinity Gardens parade. Three people were injured in a shooting. Kelly is also charged in two other shootings. Prosecutors say he's injured seven people in all with gun violence. In a sit-down interview last week, Police Chief Lawrence Petit expressed frustration that repeat offenders keep being let out of jail to commit more crimes. We can catch them, which we often do. Uh, but the detention aspect is be, you know, goes beyond what we have the ability to make happen. Individuals that have, have shown that they uh, have a propensity for violence in our community, and we're asking the, the judiciary to use every legal means that they can to detain these individuals. As for Kelly, he's being held in jail without bond as his case moves through the court system. A trial for his charges in connection with the parade shooting is set for October. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office needs help finding the man that robbed a family dollar store in Lillian. Investigators say the robbery happened last Friday when a man pointed a gun at a worker who tried to stop him. The suspect may be driving a white Chevy truck with a black tailgate. It's possible he lives in Escambia County, Florida. If you've seen him or have any information about the crime, call the Baldwin. 
Baldwin County Sheriff's Office. A woman in East Alabama is facing child endangerment charges after police say she left her baby locked inside a car in a Walmart parking lot. 25-year-old Casey Hornsby was arrested after an employee noticed the baby in the car. A bystander broke the window and got the child out, and the child is expected to be okay. Hornsby was found inside the store with another child. She told police she forgot the baby was in the car. Both children are now with their father. Just ahead, some collateral damage from a house fire in Mobile yesterday. Find out what two valuable items were lost. The first to check in, Kenny Fowler in your News 5 traffic report. That's on the way, coming up, 643. Opioid addiction is a national crisis that has hit the Gulf Coast hard. Drug education experts tell me it's nothing short of horrific. Tonight on News 5 at 10, hear from recovering addicts about how opioids took over their lives. Your life is consumed by the act of, of finding drugs and, and, and then using, and then as soon as that's over, you're out there again find, looking for more. It just it, it takes up your entire life, it, everything that you are is poured into that. You start off with a little monkey on your back. And before you know it, you got a full-grown silverback gorilla on your back, and he's got an appetite, and he's angry all the time. And you'll do whatever it takes to feed him. Tonight at 10, you'll also hear the different paths of recovery taken by these recovering addicts, how they've gotten their lives back. Also, News 5 will have a phone panel of experts available to take your questions on addiction and recovery. That's from noon until 7 today, ahead of our special report that airs at 10. For WKRG News 5, I'm Roseanne Haven. Start your morning with a hot cup of coffee in WKRG. Brought to you by Maloney Frost Lions. Truck buyers. Shop. Chris Myers, Sierra Celldown, new 2018 GMC Sierra 1500 crew cabs, two and four wheel drive with up to 15,000 total savings. Chris Myers has over 100 Sierras. Buy new Sierras now with up to $15,000 total savings. Truck buyers, shop Chris Myers, the best truck deals in Daphne. ChrisMyers.com. Don't wait. Don't overpay. Shop and save at Palmer's Toyota Superstore today. Toyota's big one sales event has landed at your Gulf Coast family store. At Palmer's Toyota, get big discounts on the one Toyota you've always wanted. Get big once-a-year deals on all new 2018 Camrys. Drive today for $189 a month. $189 a month for Camrys. Drive 2018 Corollas for $153 a month. $153 a month for Corollas. Palmer's Toyota Superstore, your Gulf Coast family store. It's the summer of me. Well, that's the truth. And what better way to spend your summer than with some angels? Isn't that funny? I feel exactly the same way. Charlie's Angels. Weekdays at 4 on MeTV Gulf Coast Channel 5.3. And coming up, a volunteer group run by military veterans that helps communities devastated by disasters. Our More Perfect Union series coming right up on CBS this morning. It's Mediacom Super Savings Event. Hurry and get extra savings on these great services, including super fast internet, up to 100 meg with in-home Wi-Fi, hundreds of channels, plus live TV streaming on any device in your home. Switch today and get TV, internet, and phone as low as $24.99 each a month for one year when bundled. No contract required. Plus, get free TiVo DVR service and Showtime and Showtime anytime. Call 800-SIMPLIFY today. I'll sue their insurance company. I'll sue your insurance company. I'll sue their mama's insurance company. It's fun to watch silly lawyer commercials. But there's a problem with these type of commercials. A lot of very important people see them. People like judges and people who could be on the jury that decides your case. I'm attorney William Casey. And if you have a serious personal injury and want it handled in a serious manner, pick up the phone now and give me a call for a free consultation.
My father passed his truck down to me. That's the same thing I want to do with you. It's an emotional thing to watch your child grow up and especially get behind the wheel. I want to keep, you know, stacking up the memories and the miles and the years. He's going to get mine, but I'm going to get oh, a new yeah. one. When it's time for your old Chevy truck to become their new Chevy truck, there's Truck Month. Get 18% of MSRP cash back on all Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT pickups when you finance with GM Financial. That's $9,000 on this Silverado. Plus, during Truck Month, make no monthly payments for 90 days. Country, bad boy country. Well, welcome back to News 5 at Thursday morning. Beautiful sunrise underway, 648 right now. And expect uh, fewer rain chances this afternoon than in the previous few days. Let's check in with John. Right. There'll still be some showers and thunderstorms out there, just fewer of them. We've got plenty of high heat and a drier and even warmer weather pattern ahead. Let's take a look first, though, at a lovely view of the silhouette of the battleship USS Alabama with a sunrise behind. And notice the flags there flying in a very light northwesterly breeze. Here's the view out over the Pensacola Airport and the sun coming up here as well. It's been a lovely sunrise just about anywhere you look this morning. But I'll tell you what, it is mighty steamy out there with that humidity over the 90% mark. Here's a radar. I've got it out to a, a bigger picture than, than I typically have because most of the action is out in the Gulf waters. That's pretty much where all of the action is right now. There's a little bit up here near Montgomery, but for us, Nothing doing. The little bit of green you see over Mobile County is ground clutter from the radar, not actual rain. We are going to wait until this afternoon for about a 50% chance that you'll need a Green and Phillips umbrella. 50% is actually lower than it's been for the past few days. This computer model shows a quiet 8 a.m. I'm good with that. A mix of sun and clouds through the morning. We start getting showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. I think there'll be a bit more than what's showing here at 2 p.m. And then by uh, 5, 6 o'clock, that's when we hit our peak of showers and thunderstorms. This looks like about a 50% coverage of showers and thunderstorms at 6 p.m., so I'm good with that. They won't be in necessarily exactly these spots, but that's about the right coverage. And then by 10 o'clock, it all starts to go away, and the next few days will actually be a bit drier. When I say drier, they'll be drier as far as rain goes. I don't know that we're going to lose too much of the humidity. Temperatures are in the 70s right now, and... We should warm to the 90s this afternoon. This assumes you don't get rain uh, before like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If you do, it will be a slightly lower daytime high. Dew points are in the 70s. That means a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. Right now, that translates to 95% plus relative humidity, so very noticeable relative humidity. The extended outlook is this with a 50 percent rain chance today dropping to 30 percent the lowest it's been for a while friday saturday and sunday and monday too but with fewer showers comes more sunshine and that's going to warm daytime highs into the mid 90s this weekend news five traffic is brought to you in part by green and phillips injury lawyers we had an earlier issue with the traffic lights on the blink there. Moffitt Road at the East I-65 Service Road North. Electricians have been called, and that might still be a little bit of a delay. That's the only problem right now in Mobile as far as your Thursday morning commute goes. We're accident-free, according to both Mobile Police and Alabama Highway Patrol. Looking good coming down I-65, crossing the Bayway and Causeway running smoothly as traffic volume westbound starting to pick up a little bit. Through the tunnels, we're accident-free and no problems right now on the Panhandle. I'm Kenny Fowler with your WKRG News. 5 traffic. All right, well, speaking of traffic, as you head out on your morning commute, you might want to watch how fast you're going. That's because state troopers across the southeast are participating in a speeding crackdown this week. News 5's Katarina Lucas joins us live now with what drivers need to know. Good morning, Kat. Hey, good morning, Bill. Yeah, as you get behind the wheel over the next few days, you're going to want to keep a watchful eye on the speedometer because authorities are going to be watching. It is all part of something called Operation Southern Shield. What it is, state troopers are going to be targeting speeders in five different states across the southeast, and those states include Florida and Alabama. It runs through Sunday. Speed killed more than 10,000 people in the United States in 2016 and was a factor in more than a quarter of fatal crashes recorded in the U.S. With more cars on the road, in the summertime, authorities believe it is a good time to encourage drivers to take it easy. 
slow down, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the family, enjoy the talks, enjoy the stops along the way. Make it enjoyable, make it uh, worthwhile, build on those memories. So when you get there, you can keep going on with the memories. Again, Operation Southern Shield runs through Sunday, so between now and then, you can expect to see more troopers on the highways and the interstates looking for speeders. Reporting live, Katarina Luktech, WKRG News 5. Thanks, Kat. Caught on camera, a wreck in North Alabama in the Fairfield community. A surveillance camera at the Sonic Drive-In here shows a car out of control. Early Monday morning, a plow through a bush, hit a pole, and flipped. We slowed the video down. Take another look. You can see it looks like the car starts spinning once it hits the large white pole. After the car stops, you see the driver get out of the car, appearing to literally shake it off. Police say the driver of the car was not injured. A crime alert this morning for a fugitive on the run in northwest Florida. 32-year-old James Jackson accused of burglaries and thefts in Bay and Walton counties. Police say he may be heading to Okaloosa County and to be on the lookout if you live in Fort Walton Beach. If you see James Jackson, contact the Walton County Sheriff's Office or Emerald, Emerald Coast Crime Stoppers. You could be eligible for a reward if you help authorities track him down. A now deleted Facebook post showed several pictures of what looked like a Mobile police officer asleep on the job. A woman took the pictures at the Living World Church in West Mobile. It was a polling place for Tuesday's runoff election. She doesn't want her name used because of some of the comments left in the post. One comment came from a man who may be the officer in the photo. It said, quoting here, funny thing is we had multiple people on each voting site. It was not my turn to be out of my vehicle. I was in my vehicle relaxing because the person at the adjacent driveway was on watch. We were doing 30-minute rotations. You should have stopped and asked if you were so concerned. The Mobile Police Department says it's aware of the photos. We contacted the man who made that comment on Facebook but have not heard back from him. Pensacola State College will be getting nearly a million and a half dollars from FEMA to help pay for damage done in flooding in the spring of 2014. FEMA has approved more than $1.4 million to reimburse Pensacola State College for repairs to buildings on the campus and to replace contents damaged during the spring 2014 severe storms and flooding. The grant amounts to 75% of the total cost of repairs. The grant's funded through FEMA's Public Assistance Grant Program, which reimburses communities for costs incurred during recovery from a disaster. Nine northwestern Florida counties were designated under the presidential declaration due to the damage caused by the severe storms in 2014. FEMA's approved about $136 million for the state under the Public Assistance Program as a result of all that damage. The cause of a house fire that destroyed two vintage cars is under investigation. The fire started around 3.40 Wednesday afternoon at a home on Highland Woods Drive East in Mobile. Most of the damage is contained to a garage where there was a vintage Jaguar and a Mercedes-Benz. Neighbors tell News 5 the homeowner was actually planning on moving them next month, but unfortunately both the cars were lost in the fire. No injuries were reported. Investigators are still trying to find out how that fire started. A public hearing on the future of Ladd People's Stadium will be held Monday night. The University of South Alabama hopes to build a new on-campus football stadium in time for the 2020 season. And USA wants some financial help from the city and county. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson has proposed tearing down Ladd Stadium in favor of a smaller stadium with less upkeep. City Councilman LaVon Manzi will be holding a public hearing in the matter at Williamson High School Monday night at 6 o'clock. Manzi tells News 5 that USA's president and athletic director will speak as well as Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson. Well, this could be the summer of the stranded boat in Orange Beach. First, a boat got stuck on the jetties at Perdido Pass and now what has been called a ghost ship washed ashore in Orange Beach. A storm apparently washed this 40-foot sailboat up on Monday. The boat owner tells News 5 he was just making a pit stop there at Orange Beach when police called him and said his boat was on the beach. I come in and I was getting a load on supplies and I just wanted to kick back on the beach for a couple days and I, I, I called my sister-in-law and she come and got me and I went home. And Richard Durham taking it all in stride. He says he's waiting on the high tide and hoping that it'll help float the boat back out to sea. The 85th Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo starts tomorrow, and for the first time in a while, Dr. Bob Ship will not be at the weigh station. Ship will miss this year's rodeo because of a back issue. Dr. Bob has been judging for the past 35 years, the last 25 as head judge. Ship says he hopes for the to be back for the 2019 event at Dolphin Island. We'll uh, talk with uh, 
uh, about red snapper, swap some rodeo stories with News 5's Randy Patrick uh, with Dr. Ship Sunday night, WKRG Sports Overtime at 10.30. There you go. What about that? Yeah, Dr. Bob, hope you're feeling better because, uh, man, he is like a huge part. Wrote the book on fish <laughs> in the Gulf. Literally. Uh, really did. <laughs> All right. Well, your forecast today, what's that look like? There's the Jurassic moment there. <laughs> giant giant bugs. Yeah, but don't fret. Uh, it should be a pretty pleasant morning, albeit a sticky one with high humidity. That's Pensacola. And then just a little while ago, uh, great parallel parking job by the uh, Carnival cruise ship Fantasy with blue sky above and folks getting off of the Fantasy today. We'll get a real taste of what mobile weather is. It's uh, hot, it's humid, and in the summertime, we get scattered afternoon thunderstorms. There we'll get go. some today. All right. We've got more to come. News 5 at 9 this morning. Devin Walsh will be here along with this guy right there, John Nodar. We'll see you then. WKRG aerial footage sponsored by Green and Phillips. Traffic is brought to you by Cart Doctor. Now at 5683 Highway 90 West, I-10, exit 15, one mile on the left.